Hello, my name's Karen and today I am going to show you how to create this perfect burgundy smoky eye. Um, in this video I show you how to create this eye look. Um, so I'm just going to quickly run through how I got my base um, because I'm sure you want to know how I created this flawless base. So I use the Helen E Cosmetics stage foundation in the shade Monroe. I absolutely love this foundation. It's really full coverage which gives you the flawless look but it is very very light on the face. Um, so I really recommend this if you're wanting the flawless um, base to this makeup look. I then set it with the Helen E um, translucent press powder. I've been really really enjoying this powder. It's just a translucent powder that sets your makeup in place and keeps it on all day. Plus the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. To warm up my skin gently I have used the Helen E um, bronzer. It is an absolutely gorgeous shade. It's the perfect cool tone bronzer which means that your bronzer will look really natural instead of having the harsh orange bronzer which nobody wants. They have got the colour completely perfect in this bronzer for an everyday gorgeous glow look. And to finish off this look I put on the Helen E um, blusher in Candylicious. This is the powder blush which I love on top of the translucent powder and the bronzer. It is this gorgeous gorgeous kind of pinky peachy um, blush and I think it's so natural so nice but it still gives you that nice glow without looking too um, too much so um, I've been really really loving that. And then of course my brows. I filled in my brows before I done this tutorial um, because I just wanted to speed it up a wee bit. I didn't want to make this too long. But I used the Helen E um, eyebrow pencil in the shade uh, Mahogany. So um, what I love about this pencil is that it has your wee spoolie on the end that you can brush through your brows. And then of course the pencil. I really really enjoyed this and I can create the sharp um, brows that I want. But you can also give it a really nice soft touch by just gently sweeping it through the eyebrow hairs. So that's kind of my base. I have the foundation, the bronzer, the blusher, the powder and the eyebrows done. So I'm going to move on to the main point of this video which is the eye look. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to use the Helen E Covered Concealer in 01. This is the perfect base for any eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put this all over the lid, right up to the brow. Um, it's a perfect eyeshadow primer and it gives you nice coverage for your eyeshadow um, to go on top of. So you can't see your fans and um, anything like that. So I absolutely love this. This is a complete staple item in my makeup kit and I wouldn't be without it now. So that just covers up all your fans and any wee imperfections on your eyelid to be able to get a completely flawless um, base for your eyeshadow. Okay, so next I'm going to get the shade Truffle and just put this on a nice fluffy blending brush and just blend this through the crease as like a nice transition colour. What I love about these shadows is that they are so easy to blend. They just blend so flawlessly um, which is perfect especially if you're a beginner or you are you don't really use wear makeup that much. Um, it's perfect um, because it's it's hard to make a mistake with these shadows because they just blend so so, so flawlessly. And just keep going back and forward with a wee with your kind of window wiper um action because that just blends it out. And remember you can never blend enough, so keep blending, blending, blending. Okay, so next I'm going to get the shade Espresso and just put it on a slightly more tapered brush um and just concentrate that really in the outer corner and into the crease a wee bit. This will build up the definition of your eye. And again, don't worry if this looks messy at the start because um, you will be going back in to blend it all out so it all runs in really seamless seamlessly. I also like to drag this in um, into the lid a wee bit just so when we're putting the pigment on, it'll all blend really nicely. And then we're just going to get the big fluffy brush from before and blend it all out. We want everything to kind of run seamlessly in together. 
Okay, so this is where the fun, dramatic stuff comes in. So the good thing about this kit is that you've got two options of your pigments. You either have option 29, which is this gorgeous um, kind of... It's like a brownie champagne colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you've got this that you can use on your lid or the colour that I'm using today, which is number four, which is absolutely gorgeous. Or even better, again, you can mix them. But I'm going to use number four okay, today. So now I'm going to put on the pigment. I'm just going to tap a little bit into the lid and get it on to just like a flat shader brush and just pack on the colour. And as you can see, these pigments are absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you pat them on and don't swipe because if you swipe, um, that's where it will get messy and um, you will end up taking a lot of the pigment off. When working with any type of pigment, um, I really suggest doing your foundation after. I don't have any foundation on now because as you can probably see, a lot of the pigment does fall out because it is a loose eyeshadow so um, this way at least you can wipe off your face, wipe off the pigment and um, then apply your foundation because if you had your foundation on first um, and this fell down and you rubbed it off it would just rub into the foundation which nobody wants so I think this pigment in number four is just perfect, especially for the trends that are out right now. Everybody's been loving this burgundy red colour on their eyes, so I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to move underneath the eyes. Okay, so I'm just applying um, some more of the concealer under my eye as another like, way of priming it. So I'm just going to sweep it underneath my eye as close to the lash line. And the good thing is that you can tidy up any messiness at the corners with a wee bit of this um, concealer and then I'm just going to get some more of the pigment in number four and run that on top. Of course you can skip this step if you want, if you don't want it to be smoky and dramatic or you can even um, put on number 29 underneath just to make it not so dramatic um, and smoky but I have really been loving this look at the minute because it's been really really in season and um, stuff like that so you can either leave it like this and pop mascara on or uh, what I've done on this eye it's just popped a wee bit of liquid liner on so I'm going to do that and come back and tell you about my new favourite mascara. So now that I've put that on I'm going to use the Big Awesome by Helen A, one of my favourite mascaras. I'm just going to layer that on in maybe two layers because I like my lashes big. And you will see what a difference this mascara makes. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've been loving it. So I'm just going to go in with a second layer on my top lashes now just to give it some extra volume. Of course you don't need to do this. You can stop with the one layer or you can put on as many layers as you want. But I just think this mascara makes your lashes look amazing. Like... Look at that. Mm, I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to um, go do the rest of my makeup and then I will show you the final look. So here's the finished look. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect burgundy smoky eye. Um, this trend is really, really in trend at the minute. Everybody loves burgundy eye on, on the lids. Um, through the bottom lash line which I think is just gorgeous. It's a nice way to smoke it out a wee bit but still keeping it very wearable. Obviously if you wanted to dye down this look get rid of the winged liner, get rid of the smoky bottom lash line and switch it with the other pigment number 29 which is just a gorgeous pigment as well um, but I wanted to create this look today because burgundy is really really in at the minute and um, everybody's been wanting it so yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you recreate this look bye